Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly report. The facility is almost up and running. Let's have a look. So this is the Fuse One Plus that I've been waiting for a very long time now. It's a beautiful machine that can make a lot of microcaster parts in a very short time. Um, I'm talking like every 24 hours I'm going to change uh, the, the build chamber. Uh, let's have a look inside. You open it like this and you can see already this is like the build area where the parts are going to be printed with a very high efficient laser. You open it here and you can take the whole thing out and move it over to this station which is the, the sift where I'm going to work, where I'm going to spend a lot of time making sure the parts are ready for the post-processing. Now, this whole setup can make up to uh, 40 big micro coasters a month and 80, like 80 small micro coasters, which is amazing. Like that speed is beautiful. So as you can see, the part is now covered in a lot of uh, dust residue from the printer, which is going to be manually removed from the part and recycled back into the build chamber. But this process is actually really intensive and time consuming, which um, brought me to the idea to actually use a motorized brush uh, to get this going a lot faster. And after that, I'm going to go here. So this is the next process where I'm going to sandblast the part. Um, it will help to remove even more residue, which was not possible to remove before and it will also highlight even more details that are enclosed in the part. And it's actually, you use the pistol here, it comes with an air compressor and you just sandblast the part and then it's done and ready for the next step. All right, so this is the whole packaging area, but before we talk about the packaging, here is the tumbler, as you saw it before, um, this machine uh, with uh, two new machines that I'm working on is going to polish the parts to its final stage uh, where it's ready to be painted. Now, you know, um, I will use material that comes in here that will actually polish the surface so that it looks just as this object. Really smooth, really beautiful and really solid. And to get this going, I actually had a funny idea. Now this material this colorful stuff here is actually going to be the, the tumbler material that will be in here. It's small enough to reach every corner of our models and it's unlikely to find anything uh, on the market that can actually achieve that. So I had to come up with this idea of using beads for bracelets. And these beads, um, I bought like uh, a few kilos of them and they're gonna be in here and they're gonna make a beautiful result. And this is my beautiful um, storage idea that I had. I got these boxes from Ikea. I absolutely love them because you can just open them like here and take out the part, which is a beautiful idea. I think um, I can take them out here, put them over here and package them in the box, uh, make everything ready for delivery. So after the parts are finished, they are ready for painting. And I'm not ready yet, but I got some stuff here that I can show you. This is my paint pistol. And I also got some colors that I need to test before I'm going to buy bigger ones. We have some white, we have some gray, we have some white, and everything that I need to paint the parts is already here. So I'm having something for the next weekly update to, for you to show. All right, everyone, so this was a beautiful beginning. Um, we will have a lot of lightning going on here so that everything has a nice atmosphere. And it's going to be a great start for the production next week. Hopefully I'm getting there in about seven days. But until then, I will see you next weekend. Thanks for watching the weekly report. And I have a lot of work to do, so bye-bye.